Hey man, she's just not that into you. Move on. If you've ever heard that phrase, you probably know what it feels like to be soft rejected by a girl. Maybe you were having a great conversation and then suddenly her expression changes and the conversation goes dead. You ask her a question and she starts giving you like these one word replies. Where are you from? Here? What do you do for work? Marketing? Maybe you're texting her back and forth and then suddenly the text goes cold. You wonder if she's left the country or lost her cell phone. Maybe she goes on a date with you and then a few days later she suddenly acts really distant and unresponsive and you're wondering what the hell happened. Maybe you even got straight up ghosted. One time I was with this girl on our second date and I took her up to my apartment after the date and we started making out in my bed and things were getting hot and heavy you know she was you know half undressed everything was going smoothly I'm like man Man, this is so cool. Suddenly, she stops kissing me. She gets up, gets dressed, and then she says, I gotta go. I remember sending her a text to say, hey, listen, uh, whatever happened, I'm sorry. And then I sent another text three days later. Hey, I just want to know that you're safe and okay. And she never, ever replied. When it happened to me, I just wanted her, or I just wanted someone to tell me why she ghosted me. Why did she leave? Not knowing drove me insane. Did I smell bad? Did she not like my body or my tattoos? Did I use too much tongue when, I, when we were kissing? I want to know. Question is, if you did know, how would you react? You really want to know? Please, I would love to have a man's opinion. He's just not that into you. Would you still be in denial? That's not true. Don't listen to him. Or would the truth set you free? No, no, I love it. It is the most liberating thing I have ever heard. I will never know why that girl got up, got dressed, and left that day. For years, I dealt with the, I'm not sure I'm really that into you look by women. And in over 10 years of coaching, uh, one of the things I've tried very, very hard to do is to answer this question, how do you stay engaged and not lose value as a guy, especially when you're courting or gaming girls of a very high caliber, right? That means girls that have a lot of other guys competing for their attention. How do you gain this competitive advantage, right? Because as a guy, we have to make that first message online. We have to go do the approach, right? And, and I'm thinking, if you're approaching a girl, aren't you giving her value just by the approach itself? It's not a normal p thing people do. It's so weird to go approach a stranger like, what's up with that? What's going on? So I felt all this resistance. And then on top of that, let's say you get the match or you get the number, then you have to court her. You have to take her on a date. You have to plan the date, decide where to go. I'm supposed to make her feel comfortable on the date. I'm supposed to try for a second date and a third date. This is what I'm supposed to do as a guy, right? But wait, if I try too hard, Society, other people, other guys call me a simp. I'm trying too hard. I'm putting her on a pedestal. Oh no, ah, it's so confusing. So here's my take. 15 years in field and 10 years coaching. I believe that the solution to the problem of hot girls just not being that into you is this. Active engagement. It means that you engage her and you try your best without losing value. And how do you do that? And if you're impatient and you just want to know what that is, then check out this link or the link in the description to the First Day Formula course. In this video, let's learn about the four ways to actively engage a girl to avoid the she's just not that into you look. So starting with the conversation, most guys make the mistake at the very beginning of the approach. They want to say something, but they see a hot girl and they're like, Oh, I want her number. And the energy field that they're giving off is like, I'm trying to get you. I'm fishing and I got my fish. Oh, I want you. And with that intention, everything that he says is seen as like this energy field of like, I'm trying to impress the girl. Let's just look at the opener for most guys, right? Most guys, what do they say? You're really cute. You're so beautiful. If I didn't talk to you, I would regret it for the rest of the day. You're so beautiful. Immediately, the, the gap starts to widen. It sets the frame, the precedence that she's up here and you are down here. Instead, the intention that I have is, I have standards for the girls that I like, and I can't tell by just looking at you. So how does that translate to my opener? Hey, you seem cool, are you? Hey, you look interesting. I wanted to meet you. I like your style. You look like an interesting person. Are you? What's your name? So right from the get-go, there's this equal exchange of value where it's like, I'm chasing her, yes, but I'm not lowering my value or raising her on the pedestal while I'm chasing her. I'm literally seeking the truth, <laughs> not this, but seeking the truth between where we are in our connection. So just by the approach alone and the setup of that approach, you can really set the frame that you're a guy of value. Now what comes after that 
gets into a little bit more detail into including calibration, roll reversal, and frame control. And I get into all that in my course. The link is below, check it out. The second part is getting the number, right? And a lot of guys, what they do is they're like, can I get your number? And you have to understand that the number is a natural result of running a good interaction. In other words, having good game. So instead of saying, can I have your number? I'll say, hey, I have to get back to my friends in a few minutes, but would it be crazy if we exchange contacts so that we can continue this conversation later on? And 90% of the time she'll be like, no, that's not crazy. And then the next question you ask is, cool, so what's your number? The third part that most guys miss out on is a lot of what we call text game mistakes. Like the text game is so weak. It's like asking a lot of questions, waiting for her to reply, berating her if she doesn't reply. 90% of guys have no text game. And this goes beyond the scope of this video, but basically the idea behind text game is really to understand that women read between the lines. So there's the, the word, and there is a sub communication. For example, if you're trying to set up a date and she texts you, I'm busy next week. What do most guys do? Oh, that's cool. Well, next week I'm free and then the next week I'm traveling and then I'll be here on this day. So like after April 24th, you can like start texting me. Just let me know. Okay, have a good trip. Long ass block of text. What does that convey? You know, oh, here's my whole schedule. You know, whenever you're ready, I'm, I'm here for you. Like, I just hope that you have some free time to come see me. That's the subtext, right? Instead, what I send is something like this. It's not unusual for two really cool people to be busy. Let's sync up again after X date. Hopefully my heart was not be in the hands of another hot girl, or something like that. So that text sub communicates, it's cool, I'm a cool guy, I'm not needy, I'm busy too, you know, we'll sync up later. And a little bit of pre-selection, it's like, hey, maybe I'll still be single by then, right? So it's a little bit of a pre-selection and challenge frame. And that's the subtext of what's not being said, what's in between the lines. And a lot of guys just don't get this. It did take me years to master my text game, but for you, you can get started, you know, using the links below, get a head start, get an unfair advantage. So the third part is on a date, we project a lot of our insecurities on a girl if she's hot. If we go on a date with a hot girl and she's semi-cool, right? Like, like imagine a girl who wasn't hot, who was just as cool, you'd be like, oh, she's pretty cool. But with a hot girl and she behaves the same way, we're suddenly like, oh my God, this girl's amazing. And we start projecting our insecurities and our future into the girl. Like, oh, she's gonna be great just because she's cool on this one date. She's gonna be great girlfriend. In the future, we'll have kids. We're gonna be in this amazing relationship. I'm gonna have so much fun. But really what a lot of it comes down to is other guys and their egos. It's like, oh, finally, you imagine yourself like with a hot girl in your arm and suddenly you can show off. Everyone at the office thinks you're cool. I finally got the hot girl. I never had this level of a girl before. All the other guys will look up to me and all the other girls will be jealous. Haha, ha, I'm so cool, right? Be careful of that because that comes from a place of insecurity, okay? And the crazy thing is um, sometimes we meet this, a girl who's hot and she's good in bed or we just meet a girl who's okay and she's good in bed and we start thinking, I'm never gonna find a girl like this again, right? That girl that does all the nasty things that you want in bed for the first time. She's got that little glint in her eye, like she's a little bit crazy. And you're like, I'm not gonna find this again. Let me reassure you, you will find them again. They are out there. And even if a girl is not crazy in bed, if she really likes you, she's usually very flexible. So you gotta understand your value in the marketplace. And you have to understand that the process is more important than individual outcomes. And when you start using these four little tips from the moment you meet her to the getting the number to the first date to being intimate, right? You start becoming a guy who's always connecting with her at different levels, but you're never making it where she's on a pedestal and you're chasing her. You're like, hey, please like me. I'm cool. You're just, I'm a guy. Here are the things I'm trying to connect with. And let me see if there's a good fit here. What's the truth in our connection? And when you do it this way, the connection is solidified and a lot more women are gonna be drawn to you and you have this gravity around you. You're not just begging for a number. You're not begging for a date. You're not begging for sex. You're literally a guy who's just there with her. So this is how you avoid this look like, I'm just not that interested in. Like, especially girls that are like, perhaps some people would consider out of your league. This is how you get them to really be congruent with you and seek the truth. And once you're connected, how you look and whatever social value difference other people might perceive that you have, all of that disappears and you're simply just connected to her. And that's what I consider solid game. I've said this many times in my other videos, but all you really need are two things. And one is your conversation skills, which we covered in this video. The second thing is your style. Your style is more about just your clothes 
It's about the way you move through life and your nonverbals. And if you have that down, it saves you a lot of the work that most guys have to do. If you don't have your style, your conversation skills can save you, but you'll have to do a lot of the work. If you have your style and your conversation, combine these two things, it will reduce your workload of courtship down by about 90%. I do about 10% of the work that most guys have to do to get the same quality of, of the women that I'm dating. If you wanna learn how to improve your communication and your style, I've included the links to the free resources below. If you wanna check out the products, that's optional as well. And just remember, the next time you get that, I'm just not that into you kind of vibe or that look or that feedback. The next hot girl is just around the corner. And guess what? For every hot girl, no matter how hot she is, there is a man somewhere who's tired of her BS. Okay, there is no shortage of beauty in the world. There's no shortage of dating prospects. What we have a shortage of in this world, I believe, is the level of class, level of game, level of integrity, level of congruence and groundedness and that draw that comes from a person who's really taken the time to develop himself or herself. And if you like this video and subscribe to this channel, you can accelerate your progress of growing your gravity and draw. It's been a pleasure. My name is Giovanni. I'll see you in the next one.